This is the e solution for problem six uh, in Siegel's biochemical calculations. It's in page 319, problem six. Problem number six, and the page is 319. And this problem states that an enzyme with a Km of 1.2, 10 to the power of negative four, so this enzyme has a Km of 1.2, 10 to minus four molar, uh, was as assayed at an initial substrate concentration of 0 0.02 molar. So the substrate concentration was 0.02 molar. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is the concentration of the substrate is very high. Uh, so by 30 seconds, uh, 2.7 micromoles per liter of the product has been produced. So third second, after this start uh, substrate becomes product, we have now a concentration of this product of 2.7 micromolar. Uh, one important is issue here is that we are work at very high concentration. The concentration of the substrate is way higher than the Km, right? So the concentration of the concentration of the substrate uh, way higher than Km. So therefore we are here in a zero order reaction. Do you remember this uh, uh, situation where we have this graph like that? This is the uh, velocity, this is the, the substrate concentration, and things become like that. So if the substrate concentration is much larger than the Km, the substrate concentration is much larger than the Km, then we are in, in a zero order reaction. So this is completely independent, dependent of the concentration of the substrate, right? So in that particular case, the velocity of the reaction is going to be basically uh, how much product was formed in a certain interval of time. So we have here the formation of the uh, product, it was 2.7 micromolar, and this happens within 30 seconds. So divided by 30 seconds would give us uh, the uh, the velocity of this reaction. So it's going to be 0 0.09, 0 0.09 micromolar per second. That's the, the the velocity of the reaction because the zero order is independent of the concentration of the substrate. It's already plateaued there, right? Uh, now uh, the question asks uh, the question asks is the uh, a how much product will be present at one minute? At one minute. Uh, time now is one minute. Then all we have to do is to calculate this for the same way. Since we are working with uh, seconds, it might be better uh, to use six seconds instead of one minute. And we have then that the uh, velocity that of the reaction was delta P over delta T. So in that case, delta p is equal v delta t, right? So we now want to know the product, the amount of product that was generated. We know now the velocity of the reaction is 0 0.09, and in this case here, we have 60 seconds, right? 60 seconds, 60, 55, uh, 55, yeah, 5.4, 5.4. Let me that calculator for this one, 5.4 micromolar. That would be the answer for part A of this problem, okay? Let me scroll down a little bit here so that we have more space to do the part B. In part B, is asking uh, what is the product after 95 seconds? Same exercise, except that now we are going to have that with 95 seconds. Uh, so that will be delta P equals 0 0.09 times 95. 0 0.09 times 95. So 8.55, 8.55 micromolar. Uh, easy, right? Uh, C, uh, we have the same type of things with three minutes. Uh, three minutes. Might be better to have that thing in 108 seconds so to avoid any 
problem delta p is going to be 0, 0, 009 times 180 uh, 180 uh, the 16.2 micromolar all right so d d is asking for uh, 5.3 minutes 5.3 minutes equal 5.3 minutes we first of all multiply this thing by 6 to get in seconds right 5.3 times 6 is going to be 318 seconds then uh, we have now the same formula 009 times 318 times 318 318 is already here times 009 so it's going to be 28.6 28.6 micromolar and uh, the problem continues and they ask in, in letter E what percent of the original substrate will be utilized by the times indicated now it's asking about the uh, percent of the sub the original substrate would be utilized we look at the product right we look at the formation of the product now we're going to be looking in letter e at the formation of the uh how much was used right so we had initially in in letter e we have a 5.4 uh 5.4 10 to minus 6, right? 504 micromolar we have initially. And how much of this, of the out of the starting material that was 2, 10 to the power of negative 2. And if we multiply this thing by 100, then we get exactly what Siegel is asking. What percent of the original substrate was utilized at the time, the first time is the time uh, at one minute, right? So let's do this calculation here. Let's work this number. So this is going to be 2.7, right? It's going to be 2.7 and 10 to the power of a negative 4, uh, but there is the 100 here, so the negative 2 in percent, right? Uh, the next one for that's come from letter B, would be in letter B we had uh, 8.55, 8.55, to minus six remember 8.55 micromolar out of two ten to the power of negative two ten times hundred to make in percent if you so desire and the same thing in here that will be a two divided by four point two seven ten to minus two percent right uh next one is uh it was 16, when we have three minutes, we have 16.2 micromolar, 10 to minus six, divided by 2.2, 10 to minus two, times 100. Uh, this would give a 8.1, 10 to the power of negative 2%, right? Uh, and last one, uh, the last one gave us 28.6 micromolar. So let's do that exactly here. 28.6 10 to minus 6 divided by 2.2 10 to the power of negative 2 times 100. This would give us, uh, uh, let's make sure that we get this thing right here, divided by 2. That's 14.3. Uh, 10 to minus 2 percent that's the solution for problem six from seagulls biochemical calculation